I may not look happy to be here because I'm really not. I do my hair <sighs> once a week, so I do it every Saturday, right? But depending on what I got going on or what I have to do, I do it like on the day before. So like on Saturday, I have a few things I need to do, so I need my hair to be done. I'm not gonna have time to do it. So I'm doing it Friday, today, and I got off of work early too, so I'm like, why not, you know, do it today? I already shampooed, conditioned it, moisturize it real good. I threw, you guys probably think I'm crazy with the products, but I kind of go off of like how I'm feeling and I know my hair. So it makes it a little bit easier. So I threw this leave-in conditioner in here. This is my go-to, I've been using this for years. And then this one girl, she has pretty hair. I seen her at um, Sally's and she told me about this. Um, I put both of these in there. I kind of go off of how my hair feels. Like sometimes it's really like dry. So depending on how dry it is, and y'all probably think I'm hella crazy, but I'm gonna tell you guys this. So <laughs> this right here, this leave-in, this is usually what I leave, what I use for my leave-in conditioner, right? You guys won't believe it, but this has, like my hair, I did a big chop, but before my hair was really, really long, this was my go-to. And man, it was so moisturizing and you better not sleep on that. So I did all that good stuff. I moisturized it really good. Um, I did the big chop and my hair is a lot, actually a lot longer than what it was. It was like this short because I cut it all off because I had heat damage. I was like, you know what, forget it. Like, I'm just gonna cut, I'm just gonna cut it all off. Yikes, I didn't want this video to be long, but I mean, I think it's kind of crazy for me to jump into it and not show you guys the products that I use. So I always use the Uncle Funkies. I've been using this for a, uh, a few years and the Innocent, so I use these together. Uh, this has like a thick enough, a thick enough hold and um, gives me a really nice cast. So I usually just only use this. The woman that colored and shaped my hair, shout out to Martha, what's up? Hi. Hi, pretty. She told me to use these together and it, it works wonders. And then I also have like this new spray bottle I bought. I also use a wide tooth comb. This brush, this one of my favorite brushes. And then you're gonna see me use some uh, clips. I have the little ones, but I like these longer ones because it holds the hair like all the way across over like the section that I'm doing. Those of you that know, y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Other people may, may be like, what? But you'll see. Uh, and then I also use this too. Sometimes I don't like using this. It just kind of depends on like how I'm feeling. I like to start in the back, like uh, kind of like depending on how I'm feeling. Like I'm gonna do like a little like nice section. It's probably gonna be hard for you guys to see in the back, but I'm just gonna do my best to kind of like show you guys. I get a lot of compliments all the time and people ask me all the time, like how I do my hair and how I get it like this. Oh, see? So I'm using this because it goes like all the way across, right? And it holds it up because my hair right now is kind of shorter, so it won't fit all in the ponytail. And I'm gonna turn around, I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but all the way across like that. So when I do this section, I don't have to worry about all the hair. Um, am I in front of the camera? I am. All this hair, like, you know, getting in the way. Because I have recently been doing like to where I forget certain parts and my hair is curled, my hair is like I forget certain parts and my hair is really curly and then I have like some sections that are looking like that and it looks bad. And my daughter tells me that it looks bad so trust me, I know it looks bad. So first I like to saturate the hair real, real good, make it real, real wet. I just put a little bit in my hand. Usually I go like this, I go like this to mix it and then I break my hands through and I go like that. Now, I don't know if you have to see, but I'm turning around. Uh, I've been doing this for a really long time. So, I mean, I can do it with my eyes closed. I'm pretty sure a lot of people that do like their routine, you know, they can do the same thing. I like to go in with this. I already fingle, finger, fingered the tangle, that part. So I didn't need to go in with the white tooth comb because I use my fingers. So I turn around, right? Let's see if I can get here. So I turn around. And I like to start here, okay? So I like to get the feel, and I grab a little here at a time, and I go like this with my fingers. Now, I'm hoping y'all can see. Yeah, I think you guys can. And then I take this next part, and I go like this, and I twirl, and like, I split that into two, and then I twirl, and I get this one, and I twirl. So like I said, I know you guys are probably like, what in the world? I've been doing this for a minute, so I know exactly like, what I'm doing and what parts to get. Kind of down here is kind of harder. Um, I have to make sure I curl that because sometimes I forget it and it looks all crazy. 
So right now, um, if you guys can see, I'm just grabbing a little bit of hair at a time, and I'm just doing the finger cor coral. Y'all know I, I can't talk, I gotta work on my speech. But um, I'm just going through, and I'm just doing that. So this part I may speed up a little bit, but yeah, that's all I'm doing. So sometimes I like to feel, and I'll try to like look in the mirror. I can always tell if I forgot something. Like I can always tell if I forgot something. Um, sometimes what I'll do, cause I don't like to get the hair mixed up. So like this part, I'll leave some out. Let me see. Oh, and I make a mess every time I get my hair. I gotta learn. So I will leave some pieces out, and then I will just get like a little scrunchie, and I'll just wrap one piece, right? Then I'll go to the back, and I'll fill this. Sometimes I may just add a little product, because I can feel if it's not a lot of product on there or not. So I just keep doing the process, make sure I'm in. And it all depends. Sometimes I do big ones, uh, but sometimes I do like smaller ones. I notice if I do smaller or big sections, it doesn't really matter. The curls still kind of look the same. So it just kind of just depends on how long I want to do this or not. It just kind of like all depends on that. Cause like, I'm not gonna lie, but, and then I do get really messy. So I'll have like water product on stuff, but I'm used to it. And yeah, I'm real messy sometimes when I do this. I have to sit underneath the dryer. I know some people say, well, you should let your hair like, let it air dry for a little bit. I may let it air dry for like five, 10 minutes max, but then I need to sit my, my little booty underneath the uh, dryer. Because if I don't do that, I'm telling you, like my hair's not gonna sit right, it's gonna be soft, and my curls are not, they're not gonna sit. They're not gonna sit right, and they're not gonna last. So if I go underneath the dryer and I stay under there, right, my hair is gonna be, it's gonna sit and it's gonna be, I'm gonna have, now a lot of people don't li like to have, um, a lot of people don't like to have a lot of cast, like hard cast on their hair, they like it to be kind of soft. Me, I like it to be hard because the harder it is, it will last me like for probably about a week. And I don't touch it or anything, I just let it, I let it do its thing. It may look like, I know um, some people don't like, and what I'm doing you guys, I'm just, I'm. Um, want to talk to you guys. So I'm just turning around, but I'm just doing the same method, just grabbing each piece and I'm just twirling it like that. Twirling it like that. I'm not to get off subject, but since I cut my hair, the texture, man, it, 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 it most definitely changes. Cause like before, it's like I can easily do this with my hand and the curl just like form easily. Now it's like I have to put a little bit more effort into it because the texture and the graded hair that I have growing now. I mean, I like it, but it's just not, I don't know if I can explain it. It's just not the same. Before it was like, man, it's so easy to manage, more soft. Now it's like my hair is like more on the coarse side and it, it's just not easy to manage like that. But I don't know why it's growing back like that, but it still looks really pretty and it's thick. So the thickness, I love the thickness of my hair. Well, I, I love it and then I hate it at the same time. Let me not use hate, but I love it and I like, you know, because it's like, it's thick, it, it looks really pretty, it looks really, really full, but it takes longer for me to do. So like my hair, it's not, it's not that tangly today and I can feel it. So I'm not gonna go in with my white tooth comb. I'm just gonna wet it, wet it, get some products. I like to do this one first. And then I like to do the Uncle Funkies and it looks like that, right? And then I like to go like that. I be feeling like I'm not using enough products and then after my hair sets and sometimes it be all flaky, I'm like, God damn it, I use too much products. I'm just really happy that my hair is growing and I want it to grow back. My husband was like, no, you're a lie. It does take you a long time to do it, whether it's short or long. To be honest, I just feel like no matter what, it takes me a while, but I miss having longer hair because like on certain days like this, I have to throw it in a slick back bun and go on about my day. And I was gonna do like two strand twists, but my hair, I never did 
No, yes, I have. Have I? No, I have. I have done two strand twists on my hair when it's like um, shorter, but not this short. So I was like, uh, I don't want to do it, and it doesn't like really look right. So I probably wait until it gets a little bit longer before I start doing the two the two strand twists. But I'm not gonna lie, I love my. Uh, I can't even talk. I love my two strand twist. I miss it, but I'm gonna wait because I if it looks crazy, I'm gonna be pissed because I don't have time to be doing all that. So like this one's kind of like bigger. So I'm just gonna turn it into two. Okay, so then I'm gonna do my other section. I don't know what it looks like in the back, but I'm gonna just turn around so y'all can see it. This part already has product on it. So all I'm doing is just going through and just doing this. And you guys, like, I'm not gonna lie, it takes me, it takes me like a freaking like, I wanna say about like two hours to do this. And it just depends. It just depends on, see, my hair, it just depends on my speed. Usually I do it pretty fast, but I really want braids, but then I say that, and then because of braids, I love braids, but it's like, I feel like my, I don't like when my hair feels, feels or get really dirty. So when braids, when my braids start getting, um, like when my scalp start feeling dirty and stuff, it could be like two weeks and I'm gonna take it out. You know, when you, getting braids and stuff, it takes time. But now, in the way my neck is set up, I can't sit in a chair for that long. So that's why I'd be debating on, like I could even stand doing this for like the amount of time that I have to do it. So imagine me sitting in a chair. And I tried other ways too, like if I don't do it with the finger coral, I probably, I'm probably saying that wrong. If I don't do it with that, and I just like rake my hands through. Like a lot of people could get away with like just raking their hands through. I can't get away with that. Cause if I do that, it's literally gonna last like one day. And the way my life is set up, I'm gonna be honest. I cannot take that much time to do my hair every single day. I'm too busy. Like I gotta get up and go. So the good thing about this is that this style lasts me for about a week when I do it. And it looks great. And even if it's even past the six days, it still looks great, but I like it to look like fresh. But if I wanted to get away, like I was looking at it today, I was like, dang, I really don't have to do it. But I just really like that 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 fresh look. So um, let me see. I'm just gonna grab more. And I noticed when I grab like when I grab like more sections, I don't know, maybe it's maybe I'm just tripping, but it makes it seem like I get it done faster. But maybe that's wrong, I don't know. So like right here, it feels a little tingle. So what I'm gonna do is go in with my wide tube comb. Why, I cannot talk to you guys. I'm gonna go in with that. Grab my spray bottle. I'm gonna spray I like this one. The other one I had, it was really cute. It was cuter, but it just took forever for the mist to come out. And I, like I said, like I don't be having time for that. Um. So I'm doing this side. I'm just gonna get some product. And like up here, guys, like you see this hair right here, I don't want it in the way. So I'm just gonna pin it. And my hair is really growing a lot. Cause like, it's like, it's pretty long. It was not like that. Like when I cut it, it was like this. So I damaged it really bad. Dang. And I like it to be really, really wet because I feel like the curls pop more and they set better when it's really, really wet. And I like to be able to see the product. See, like when, if it's not white, I'd be thinking, I don't have enough product. Then I go in with more product and then I'd be like, God damn it, damn it, I use too much. So I'm on this side, I'm gonna turn to the side so you guys can see. And I just like to grab, see? And I don't feel like it's a lot of product, so I'm gonna go with more Uncle Funky. So y'all can see, I can't see what I'm doing. I'm just filling the sections. And I'm just circling my fingers around. And I should have been in this video because I get so many compliments. And I love the compliments that I get, because Honestly, like you guys probably, whoop, what the heck is going on here? Okay, that don't look right. So I'm gonna break this into two. So 
even though I know I'm showing you guys my hair, but I, I, I love talking to you guys. I gotta talk too. So even like when I had weave, right? I used to get weaves all the time. I used to get compliments, but it's weird because, not weird, but you know, a lot of people think that just like longer hair is just, it's like, what, it's just in, you know, like that, I don't know. That, I guess that's how people think, I don't know. But you know, longer hair is like, we were always taught like as black women, like, oh, you know, like if your hair is not long, it's not pretty enough, blah, 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 all that blase, all that stuff. So that's not true. I get more compliments with my hair being short and colored like this than I ever did when I had a weave. When I had weaves and extensions, like I, to me, I'm like, okay, like that's in, like, I, I like, oh my gosh, I would never, I would not walk out the house without a weave. And I used to always get my weave real, real longer, real, 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 it was real pretty. And I spent a lot of money on a lot of, uh, on hair, like money, money. Before I had real responsibilities, I will go like, like take a thousand dollars to the hair shop and just buy like the best, I tell them I want the best Brazilian y'all got. The silkiest, the one you can wear curly, straight, curly, all the other stuff that looks real, like it's real coming from my scalp. Like that's what, that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. And I knew they loved when I came in there cause they knew that I was about to spend like hella money. Um, see I wasn't, I didn't mean, mean to pull hair from the front cause I don't like, I like going the back first and then going to the front. I feel more confident with it. And I, that's shocked because usually I would have been like, oh, I'm over this, like I just wanna, let me just go ahead and, cause I got bundles, okay? I keep bundles. I got bundles in here. That's like this color. That's like this color. I got bundles and they're brand new, never been used and they cost a lot of money and they're in there. So usually whenever I feel like, oh, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and throw some bundles in here. My eyes are crazy, sorry guys. I, when, when I'm tired, my eyes be going all types of crazy. With the bundles, the only thing is, is that the leave out, my leave out messes up. Like I had, I did a, this is like my, what is it? My third big chop. And the other one I did, I had it really, really long in the front, but really short in the back. So it was like this in the back, but it, it was really long in the front. Like to, it was really long in the front to where it like covered up here. Like it was super, super long. And it was really, really cute. If I could find a picture, I'll put it in here. So all I'm doing now, I don't like the way those, I don't like the way. Usually when I don't like the way the roots is looking, I like to wet it. There you go. So I'm gonna grab another section. And I feel like the back takes me the longest. So I try my best to do the back as much as the back as I possibly can. And I like to take my time on the back because I can't see it, but I like to knock out as much of the back because when I get to the front, it's a wrap, but it's the back. I usually get up early in the morning, like five o'clock in the morning to do my hair. Then you turn around. Sometimes it's hard for me to curl it. So I gotta wet it more because when it's wet, I feel like I can do more with it. So I'm just getting pieces, just curling it, curling it. And that's another thing, you guys, my arms get really, really tired. I'm just really like, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I love this cut, like I love this curly cut. And if I could, I was like, hmm, maybe I should like, just keep the back short, keep the back short. Hopefully you guys can see this. Uh, keep the back short, but just grow it long at the top. But I'm gonna be honest, like the maintenance of it, I, I, I can't I can't freaking stand it. And a lot of people always say that having short hair is easier. Psh, not for me. I feel like it's harder having short hair. And that's the only reason why I really like having long hair is because um it's just the way my lifestyle is set up. I don't have time to freaking do this every week. Like I can just throw it in a ponytail um, and then or throw it in like, you know, big, big uh, two strand twist and like put it in a ponytail. Like I said, my hair is not, it's not there yet. Maybe in a few months it will be to where I can kind of do more, but right now um, it's, it's really, it's really not there. So, and I'm happy about that because two strand twist does not take me a long time. It takes me about 30 minutes to put them in and it takes me very fast. So I'm just gonna, I'm talking. I'm gonna go silent. <laughs> And I'm just gonna continue the back so y'all can see it.
All right, I'm back. So now I'm at the front of my hair. So I'm about to do the front. I don't know what it is, but sometimes it gets dry. But, all right, let me spray. All right, and now I'm gonna be quiet and I'm gonna get into it.
put a mousse on there right now because only because I don't want to wait when I'm done with it. I just want to go ahead and sit underneath the dryer and just let it sit. So put that on there. I don't do parts. I do it like this. What the heck is going on? Oh, there we go. Okay. It's like when I think I'm done, I'm, I'm just not done. Like I still have hair left, but like I said, when I do the front, it takes me not long to knock it out. It's the back that takes me the longest. And I think because the back is shorter, probably. That's another thing. It's hard for me to twirl it on my finger, on my fingers with my hair in the back, but in the front, it's longer. So it's like, it's I can just, you know, flow right through it. So, I don't always like doing this hairstyle. I mean, it looks so cute, but it just takes me like a lot of time. I'm gonna be quiet and then I'm just going to keep going. All right, let's go. to buy more this is not cheap this is like thirty dollars but that lasts me a long time too like about two months so we are almost at the finish line it was getting kind of dark so i was trying to do it early so about time the sun starts going down you guys can see, still see i love my new bathroom like it's so pretty and i can um it just the whole way it looks and like when I do my makeup, how it looks on camera, my hair, like I just, I love it. Before I got old, at the old place, I was grateful for my old place, but it's like the lighting wasn't all that. And then right here, I'm like right by the sun. So in the morning and stuff, it's like, it's really pretty. And it gives me a lot of light, so, woo. 
I know, like, I know I'm almost done. So I started getting lazy and I started doing bigger pieces because I just want to be over with it. That's the only annoying part. But on the bright side, tomorrow, I can focus on what I wanted to do. I can run errands. I can do some things tomorrow without worrying about my hair. It's time consuming, but for the most part, it's a super easy hairstyle. At first I felt like my hair wasn't growing, but then I I compared other pictures and I was looking, I was like, yeah, my hair grew a lot, a lot. And when it's wet and stuff like that, cause you, you all know like shrinkage is real. So when it, when it dries, it looks really short, but it's really not. You can see that it, it looks pretty long right now, but when it dries up, it looks way shorter. But like I, like I said, I, I don't really care about shrinkage because um, as each day goes on, it get it, the my hair gets the curls get bigger and bigger and bigger. But it's really pretty because like on day six, and I fluff it out, it looks really really pretty. Still looks good if I you know put a little frizz spray on it. Woo. <sighs> I'm done, I'm finally done. Okay, so what I like to do, usually I like to go in and just wet it a little bit more, but I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna be under the dryer. So I go and look at pieces that I look like I skipped or it looks really thick, like this for example, and I break it into two or three, depending on how many I can get out of the strand. And I just go like that, you see? Cause like I said, when it comes to like this part, like the middle and the front, like I wanna say like this section right here, I become very, very lazy. So let's see. It's good. Or I may just go back in. Like this one's too big. So I'll try to split it. into three pieces. I don't like to mess with it a lot because I like to just go underneath the dryer and just let the dryer set. So it looks pretty good. I did pretty good. Usually sometimes I have a lot of pieces, but I don't have a lot of pieces right now. Okay, so this is the finished, finished look. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my mousse. I already did the back, so I'm not gonna go too crazy on the back. And I usually get jam like the gel and go underneath here, but I mean the hair covers it, so I really don't care what it looks like. And each day I may get like some oil and like brush up on my edges, but I don't put like any like edge control or anything like that. Like I don't like a lot of products in my hair. I just like it to look very natural. So this, this is what it's looking like. So what I'm gonna do now, I, I am going to clean up because I made a mess sweet. I, I'm a neat freak, so I don't like stuff messy. I'm gonna clean up really good and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sit underneath my dryer. And then uh, tomorrow I will come back with my makeup done and everything and I'll let you guys see the finished look. The sun is going down, so I'm glad that I got done in time. So this is the finished look, let me go around. And if you guys see pieces in the back, let me know. <laughs> uh, usually I can, I look in the mirror and I see, but, or I can like, honestly, I can feel and see if I missed anything, but it looks like I got everything. So yeah, all right guys, so that's it. I'm gonna go underneath the dryer and then I'll be back. Guys, I am back. Okay, so um, 
I told you guys that I was gonna show you guys like the finished look of my hair, and this is what it looks like. Um, let's see, turn around. Hopefully the back doesn't look crazy because I told you guys that sometimes I can not see the back. And let me go ahead and show you the front. And yes, I do have gray. I used to pick out the gray and pick them out, but I stopped doing that because I noticed that when I start picking out the gray, more gray will like come back and grow. So I stopped doing that, but there you guys see it. So this is the finished look. So yeah, I'm pulling the back. Surprised the way it looks right now because usually it looks a lot shorter, um, but like, you know, I have to put like my shirt on and like it moved a little bit and stuff like that, you know, and then like, uh, it looks bigger than what it usually looks like, or maybe it's just growing. Let me clap one time. For the longest time, you know, like it just, it was really short, but maybe it's just growing because now it's like, uh, so yeah, this is the finished look. Uh, and then this hairstyle lasts me for about a week. So I did it on Friday. I did it yesterday. And so I, I, so I did it on Friday, Friday. I did it yesterday. So the next time that I will do it will be like next Saturday. Yes. Yeah, so I'll get up early in the morning and then I'll start doing that. I know a lot of women say that they like do it in the morning and then they, they don't blow dry, dry it or anything and they just go about their day. They let it like air dry. I cannot do that with my hair because if I let it air dry, it's not gonna sit and it's not gonna last long. Um, when I sit underneath the dryer or I put like heat to it, it sets it and it keeps it, you know, set. And so each day it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So what I do is like, I usually like get like some oil. It's my favorite oil right here. Um, this Do Girl. Um, I, I usually like put this on my scalp or like put it on my palm of my hand. I go like this and I kind of like just rub my hands through. I go like on my edges too. I do that in the morning sometimes. Just in case if it's not looking as shiny, sometimes it starts looking a little like, not frizzy, but like not alive. Like not, not, it doesn't look like this. But like, so, so the way my hair looks right now, it does not look like this, like on day five. It looks a little bit, a little bit different. Still cute, I can still rock it, but yeah. So I just want to let you guys know, I know a lot of people always ask me all the time about my curly, about my curly hair and this is what, this is what it looks like. I get a lot of compliments. You know what sucks? So my hair is really thick, but I noticed that when I cut it, in the middle is thin. I try to take like smaller pieces and kind of like curl them up to make it look more fuller in the middle, but my middle was pretty thin. Before, when my hair was longer, before I did the big chop, it was not like that. It was thick and full all over. But yeah, it's a little like thin at the top, but you know, like that's okay. So yes, and I've been thinking about throwing more color in it, but I'm still thinking about it. So my hairdresser, we just did color right here. And um, she was like, I think that when you come back, maybe you should do color around the whole backside. So you guys let me know your thoughts if I should do that, or not, do that or not. So I love you guys. I really hope that you guys love this tutorial. Tutorial, it took me a long time, but I did it for you guys. I love you, God bless, bye.